Looping allows you to repeat a question or a series of questions for different items in a list. Some examples could be to ask identical questions for each member of a family or each employee in a company. Or you can ask identical questions about the first time or the second time and so on of a purchase, illness, vacation, or other repeated occurrences. For example, I have a simple survey here with questions of how often people shop and how much they spend at different department stores. I have a list that has a few of those department stores that I want to ask about. And instead of programming one question for each of my department stores, I'm going to loop through these questions with a loop. So to create that loop, I will come over here to the looping button and we'll add a new loop. We'll give it a name, so we'll call it store loop. And I'll pick that list that lists all the stores, which is my store list. Now we have my anchor questions. So the anchor questions are the beginning and the end of my loop. So this can be a single question, this can be a series of questions, they can be separated on different pages, whatever. Anchor question one is the beginning and anchor question two is the end of my loop. The reason I created my loop is because I want to ask the same question for different stores. In my questions, I need to tell the software to grab each of the different store names. In other words, I need to change the text of my question for each loop iteration. To do this, I will use one of our list functions. We have three general loop functions, loop iteration, loop value, and loop label. I would use loop iteration if I wanted to know how many times I've gone through the loop. If this is my first time or my second time or my third time, I would use loop value to grab the item index for this iteration, which corresponds to the item number from my list. In this case, I want to use loop label. I will start with my Satu script, which is open bracket percent. I'll just insert that right into my question. Loop label grabs the text of each list item. So the first time I'd go through, I'd see Macy's, and then the next time I'd go through the loop, it would say Kohl's, etc. And we can see that as soon as I test my survey. So this first time it asks me about Macy's and I'll put in that I shop weekly and I spend $12 at Macy's. And each time I answer these questions, it'll show a different store name. It'll loop through each of those elements. As soon as I'm done, I can come over here into Lighthouse Studio and we can go into the admin module to see how the data is recorded. So if I view my data and just pick that last respondent, notice that each of my loop questions has a dot and a number by it. The number corresponds to the list item I was asked about. So point one corresponds to how often and how much I spend at Macy's. The second list item, I shopped every two to three days and spent $14 at that store. So each time I go through the loop, it has a different iteration and it saves it in the database. Looping is helpful because it allows you to ask a series of similar questions without having to create separate instances for each question. For further information about looping, look through our help documentation or contact our support team.